Hi guys, my name's Elliot Harlin Bethel. If you're new to this channel, this page is about energy healing. It's about personal development and it also follows my journey of how I've utilized fasting in various forms from juice fasting to wet fasting to dry fasting to hard dry fasting as a healing modality. Um, and one of the many other practices that I've studied over the last four years is a topic I'd like to talk to you guys about today called Neuro Linguistic Programming, or NLP for short. And it's a very powerful healing modality um, that I've uh, utilised in the past, where in essence what you can do is you can take a past event that has created a negative charge and could be creating like a, a Groundhog Day type scenario in your life now, where I'll give you an example, say an argument you had with a family member 10 years ago. It could have created a groundhog type scenario where every time you're in a family situation like that a trigger happens and it, it's just repeating itself and um, what you can do is although we can't change the past what you can do is you can revisit that past experience um, you can meditate and you can visualize it and through neurolinguistic certain words and putting certain feelings or certain emotions into it you can change the charge from a negative charge. Um, you can either transmute it, or sometimes in some cases, you can actually transfer it into a positive charge. So that what happens is that positive charge then ripple effects through to the present moment, and you can use that energy to create more positive things in the future. The negative charge that was holding you back can either be transmuted or even transferred to a positive, which can then be beneficial to what you're creating in the present moment and the future moment. Because as I've said in the past, although we can't predict the future, the reason we can't predict the future is because we're constantly creating the future. Because the causes that we create today have effects that ripple out into the future. And when you learn how to create certain causes, you learn how to create your future. So this is our neuro-linguistic programming. It's very, very, very powerful. If you'd like any more information on this, please pop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Or as I said, pop me an email. But I'd also like to touch on how I have used in the past and how I see a lot of the world's top coaches, mentors and life coaches using NLP in a way that is not only not beneficial for them, it's not beneficial for the people that they're using it on. So I've been to many events myself and um, I'm sure you have where the initial outlay or charge is very, very small, um, if not free. But then when you get to the event, as the events come into a draw, closing draw, there is NLP techniques like there's a certain time limit for you to buy this product. If you don't buy this product today, then you're going to miss out. Um, and then there's another level of fear added to that where the price has been dropped for that certain amount of time and it's been dropped from a million pounds to three thousand pounds. And if you miss out on it and in essence, fear is a very, very low vibration. And it's actually been scientifically proven now that fear actually compresses part of the human DNA. Um, so when somebody tries to use fear-based tactics, part of you will sort of do that. It closes you up. And this is what can happen to your DNA with fear-based stuff. But when you utilize and use and are around more love-based um, vibrations, like gratitude, gratitude is a very high vibration. So when you're around things like that, it actually... Um, opens you up to more you get to see more of the unseen things and generally your vibration raises um, when I have started to embody my authentic self and when I say embody my authentic self when four years ago I made a conscious effort to only speak my truth and I'll give you an example of say five years ago when my partner at the time would say to me darling does my bum look big in this you can probably relate to this. Um, I may have sugarcoated that answer in the past um, because I might not have wanted to hurt my partner's feelings. Whereas if I would have handled it in a different way and said, actually darling, your bum does look big in that outfit. Your bum's not big, but maybe another outfit or an alternative would be better suited. I would then be speaking my truth. Now, there's a really, really big difference between these two scenarios because when I'm not being authentic and I'm sugarcoating it, in essence, what my vibration is sending out 
is that I'm not authentic. And because I'm not authentic, being not authentic is acceptable. So what happens is that sends out that vibration and the people that I interact with and that come into my life are now not authentic because it's being reflected back to me and mirrored to me until I learn that lesson. So then by stepping up and stepping into my authentic self and speaking my truth, now being authentic is all that's acceptable to me. And by setting that example and sending out that vibration of being authentic, the people that I interact with and the people that are now drawn into my life are very authentic people. Um, as within, so without. Um, as I've said before, the Bible and lots and lots of old ancient teachings have so much knowledge and wisdom in that is spoken in metaphors and parables that when translated properly, they're the most powerful teachings that we have. It's just, you need to read them from the right perspective because perspective is a very, very powerful thing. 300 people watching a film in a cinema are actually, you, there, there's actually 300 different versions of that film being interpreted in that cinema because everyone's perception is slightly different and you see things, everyone sees it from a different level of perception. Um, what I'd like to point out is that now that I speak my truth and now I've embodied my authentic self, I no longer have to chase clients because when you chase clients, they actually run away from you because it's creating a fear-based lack vibration. Um, for those of you that follow the law of attraction, you already know this. Um, but as I said in yesterday's video, we are connected to everything. My finger is connected to my arm, my arm's connected to my body. It's just an extension of me. So, but this bookshelf here and these books are actually also connected to me. It's just another extension of me. And when you realize that, there's no separation. Separation creates lack. When you want something, you're admitting you don't have it, which creates lack. When you realize you're connected to everything, you don't want for anything and it comes to you. Um, it's very, very powerful. And when you start utilizing this, even in small things, you can start building up and larger things start coming to you. So what I would try to encourage is I would like to see more coaches and more mentors, not hard selling. Um, if you ever come to any of my events or if there's ever an interaction between me and you, um, I would like to think that now I am my authentic self and now I speak my truth, you will never have that feeling. If you do ever have that feeling for me, I'd like to be pulled up on it and I'd like to be held accountable for it. So by doing this and being our authentic selves and setting that example, what you might find is that this is reflected back and the people you interact with on a daily basis reflect this. I'd really like to know if you're seeing this, whether in a negative or positive way at the moment. If you're seeing it in a negative way, then I'd like you to try what I said today. And I'd really love to hear whether it's changed it and whether the effects that are now coming back to you are now reflecting a better version because of the version you're putting out and vice versa. So I'm really trying to encourage more interaction on this page now. Um, and I'm getting a lot more interaction, which is brilliant. Really, really enjoying it. Um, because I'm very, very interested in seeing how um, people's perceptions are of what I'm saying. Because um, obviously I feel like I'm putting out a certain energy into the words and a certain vibration. And I'd like to really know how that's being interpreted by you, the general public. Um, please let me know if you have enjoyed this video. Please also let me know if there's any subjects you would like me to touch on. Um, ranging from anything. So I've had a few recently and I've got quite a few videos I can pop out this week that are um, recommendations that people would like to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please do like it if you have liked it. Um, please do share it with anyone that you feel would benefit from hearing what I've said today. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for watching.